that gave a lot of Baisa sporting leverage when I was doing it. Mm. That's where get Ocean Boy, they became something strong. Ocean Boys. But, uh, those who, who are myopic put that word, uh, I don't mind. Mm. And uh, I did now, and I sponsored the uh, uh, probably growing Frederick wishes. Do you get satisfaction from, from putting out your money in ruin? Do you get satisfaction? Have you been getting satisfaction? You know, when I see Atlas, mm come and roll and then when they win like i won a uh, alaba ferrari mm -hmm. it's, it's a it's a uh, it's a the challenge athlete mm -hmm. but he's very powerful in rowing mm -hmm. and uh, he's calling me alaba ferrari and mm -hmm. he's so happy he, that gives us some joy that joy that they have i get joy out of it mm -hmm. All right, we'll take a break uh, on the Armed Forces Remembrance Day and we'll see you about Admiral Festus Property to tell us about um, the Nigerian rowing and sailing. And of course, to so give us also some exclusive stories um, from the military and some information that might be very important for us. Government Special Announcement. The River State Government is pleased to invite the general public to the following activities marking the 2023 Armed Forces Remembrance Day celebration in the state. Day 1. Jumat Service. Date. Friday 6th January 2023. Venue. River State Central Mosque. Port Arco Township. Time. 1 p.m. Day 2. Interdenominational Church and Thanksgiving Service. Date. Sunday 8th January 2023. Venue. All Saint Cathedral. Rumo Cruce. Time. 10 a.m. Day 3. Remembrance Day Parade and Ruth Lane. Date. Sunday, 15th January 2023. Venue, Isaac Boropa, Senator of My One Deal, Port Harcourt. Time, 2 p.m. His Excellency, Barrister Yersum Ezwan Wike, CON, GSSRS, Life Bencher, Governor of River State, will inspect the Guard of Honors as well as lead the service chiefs and heads of agencies to lay wreath on the grave of the unknown soldier. Invited guests are kindly requested to be seated before start of all events. This is signed by Dr. George CYK, FCA, MNI, Permanent Secretary SSB for Secretary to the State Government. Being at the Olympics, you know, when I first started talking about it, if you told me that it would actually happen, I wouldn't have believed you. Rowing blindly for six months is never fun when you're putting yourself through, you know, crazy workouts hoping that people will just give you the time of day, but that's a lot about life, you know. I realize that you don't have to be the smartest, the best, or the fastest, you just have to work hard. Chiarika Ukogu, um, or Coco, that's what my family and friends call me. I grew up in Philadelphia. My parents are from Nigeria, from Anambra State. What really got me to participate and want to participate was actually watching the 2012 uh, rowing in the Olympics. What happens with rowing is that sometimes if a country has a very small delegation, um, people are allowed to compete without qualifying through the necessary channels. So there was a, a former swimmer from Niger, um, Isaka, who actually learned how to row about three months before the Olympics. And he was able to, to go and he got last by a lot because he just started rowing. A lot of the feedback was, was kind of negative. He got the, the, the name, the sculling sloth, and you know people were kind of rude to him. And that really got me fired up. With most sports at the Olympics, you know, you're knocked out. But with rowing, you keep going. So, you know, after quarterfinals, I was still in contention for a medal, but then I didn't get top three. So then from there, I was in, you know, the second tier, you know, and I got second place in the D final, which made me 20th overall. I think people thought I was still, still in medal contention. And then, you know, Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg Instagrammed it and then, BBC wrote an article. BuzzFeed also wrote an article. Now I guess I'm an internet. I went viral. So. <laughs> the Olympics and leading up to the Olympics was a lot of, you know, physical exertion. And now medical school is a lot of mental exertion. But 
you know, I'm, I'm so excited for it and this is what I've always wanted. You know, for me, medicine is the ability to be an ultimate doer and an ultimate, you know, person of service. The same way that I rode for Nigeria because I felt like there's so many opportunities in rowing. It's the same reason why I want to be a doctor. I feel like you, in order to take advantage of all the opportunities that you have, you need to be healthy first. Former Nigerian Transport Minister and retired Rear Admiral in the Nigerian Navy has shown his way behind establishment of a naval base in Kano State. According to him, he started his Navy training in Northern India, an area that has similar climate as Kano State. For him, there is no issue setting up a naval base in Kano State. Having a strong base, a strong frigate, is not the first, Kano is not the first, but a strong frigate, even Orienta in uh, Weary. And uh, that's in uh, Abia State. And so it's uh, acceptable. Uh, besides, personally, my first naval electrical engineering school, which is in uh, India, is in Jamnaga, which is in far north of uh, India, not no water around it. So nothing wrong in it. It will be recalled that Governor Ganduji of Kano State had requested for the naval base to be set up in Kano State, a request which was granted and approved by the Nigerian government. So thank you for the sensitization program which you have planned to do so that the young people in Kano, young men and women, will appreciate the naval service so that they can be able to make a good choice to join the Nigerian Navy. I think this is a very good uh, initiative. So we thank you for that. We assure you we'll give you maximum cooperation for a complete success of this uh, conference that you are holding. So thank you for the offer of precisely 100 hectares of land to the Nigerian Navy. for us to establish a naval base in Kano. I assure you that the base, when established, will uh, contribute to showcasing the efforts of the armed forces of Nigeria at keeping Nigeria one indivisible nation. The new naval base in Kano State already has an acting commander who is Captain Mohammed Abubakar Al Hassan, who has also been included in Kano State's inter-security meeting by Governor Ganduji. Admiral Festus Pabini also said special naval seals could also be trained at a new naval base in Kano State. In the first place, the Navy are provided we have what's called special boat services. You know, Navy. Okay, we welcome back and we're celebrating the Nigerian Armed Forces and we have a veteran with us in the house, former Nigerian Transport Minister, former Nigerian Ambassador to Equatorial Guinea, former member of the Armed Forces, remember, um, a former member of the Armed Forces Ruling Council, um, Ambassador Edgar Pobini. You're welcome back, sir. Thank you, man. So, so um, let's go back to um, the Armed Forces, uh, which is part of your, your setup. Are you happy with what you've been seeing so far in the Nigerian military? Yes, um, me, they're doing very well because when this administration came on board, Boko Haram were controlling some parts of some local government with their flags. Today, there's nothing like that. They have the thin, they've dispersed the thin air, not thin air, they're not uh, individuals causing problems here and there. Mm. But so soon they will take it away gradually. I know that. Uh, so let's talk about the Armed Forces Remembrance. The, the, the River State Government is, has aligned up activities to celebrate um, these activities. Are you aware of any of the programs? Okay, let's, let's take a call. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Uh, our number is 0703772-3125. That's our number on this program. 0703772-3125. Uh, so talk, let's talk about um, the um, the armed forces and, and then talk about your role and, 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 and what you've seen so far. Um, the election is coming. Let's, 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 let's leave politics and stay on, on, on this one. Uh, so um, 
Are you happy with with what you've been seeing? The, you, you talked about you, you're happy with the with the present setup. You've gotten your pensions and, and everything gratuity. Yes, yes. Mm. I the present administration rectifies our gratuity, mm. which is very good, mm. and a pension. Mm. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Can you hear us? Hello. Zero seven zero three seven seven two three one two five. That's our number. We have a member selected by permanent president of the Nigerian Rowing Federation and also a member, former member of the Armed Forces Ruling Council, and is with us in the house, right, live and direct uh, in the studios of RSTV. We are talking about the Rowing Armed Forces, and let's also look about. Um, hello, hello. Can you hear us? Good afternoon. Hello. Please, when you call us, turn down the volume of your TV set so that we don't get a hold back. Please turn down the volume of your TV set so that we don't get a hold back. 0703-772-3125. Ambassador Poppin is with us in the house. Uh, let's talk about um, rowing, um, shall we? Because um, you, you, have, you have so many activities coming up this year. So what, January, when is your event coming up in, in Abuja and Jabi Lake? Mid-January. Late January. Yes. This month. Yes, yes, yes. How prepared are we? We are, we are prepared. We, I we, we have the. Hello. Good afternoon. Can you hear us? Hello. All right. Good afternoon. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? All right, go ahead, sir. Uh, uh, sorry, can you hear us? All right, we'll, we'll, we'll sort out this um, network problem, um, shall we? Let's look at some of the Premier League matches, um, the highlight of the English Premier League, and when we come back, we promise uh, to take the calls coming in uh, for Ambassador Ed by Poverty. All right, you welcome back, and uh, we still have Admiral Festus Pabeni, the former Nigerian ambassador to Equatorial Guinea, and also Transport Minister. Um, you welcome back to the studio, sir. And uh, let's talk about a little bit of football. The World Cup is over, and many people say Pele is the king of football. Is dead. You met him in Brazil. Yes, in Brazil. when I went for Rio, mm. he came for the football uh, activities there. Mm. What kind of person was Pele? Quite a gentleman. Very focused and very humble mm -hmm. and civilized. Mm -hmm. Very, I mean, someone who, who you know, no question, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, and popular, and this, mm -hmm. you know, humble. Mm -hmm. yes. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, you can call us on 0703 and you can also send us an SMS on that same number. And uh, we're discussing uh, football now with Ambassador Evie Pobeni, former Nigerian ambassador to Kotoro Guinea. Uh, you said Pele was a very humble man. Very, very humble. Mm. Okay, so l let's talk about um, na na sports in, in general in, in the country, Nigeria. Uh, you, you, uh, you, are, you are very much into, into sports. For 2023, what do we expect? Um, Nigerian sports generally, it's, it's not happy. Many people are not happy that Nigeria wasn't at the World Cup in, in Qatar. We're not at the World Cup, but mm. we were there in the music industry. Mm. Everybody has to showcase something, and we showcase our music industry. Mm. 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 True, true. Uh, one more, one more um, talk with you before we leave, and um, the elections are coming up very shortly. Um, what message do you have for Nigerian youths who might want to go and vote? We're not campaigning for anybody here, but you know, definitely to say. They should be focused and ensure that they have their PVC and they vote their conscience. Vote the conscience? Yes. All right. Hello? Mm -hmm. Hello? All right. Um, thank you very much, Ambassador FBI Pobini. It's been a 51 minutes grueling time with us right here in the studios. Thank you. It's okay. a prayer. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, I hope you can keep us posted um, with regards to um, your 
bowing uh, rowing event coming up mid January in Abuja. Yes, definitely. All right. Thank you very much. We'll continue with more programs on RSTV. This time around, we'll move to um, Gokana, where they had their carnival. Wonderful carnival 